battles going on here to win stage two. There are two laps left. That's Logano and Kyle Larson. Then the battle for Ryan Newman and Jimmy Johnson fighting for stage points. That's going on in fifth and sixth. Yeah, and uh, Ryan Newman has them stacked up behind him. Jimmy Johnson, Keselowski, they slide out of turn number one. Johnson with a bit of an advantage headed to two. Right behind them, Kurt, uh, Kyle Busch picks up a spot, and we've got problems. It's Brad Keselowski and Eric Jones make contact. They both make heavy contact, and Keselowski slides down the racetrack, hits the tire barrier, and I think that car might have rolled over. It was a heavy, heavy hit for both as Eric Jones' car is stopped right in the middle of the racetrack. Keselowski's car out of control, shot down the racetrack and absolutely nailed the tire barrier. And as we now see on one of the video boards, it did not roll over, but it is on its side. The caution is out here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. You can barely see Brad Keselowski's car, which he fortunately does crawl out of. And there are some people there to assist him as soon as he gets out. But but that car is buried into a tire barrier, so you can barely see what's left of his race car. So Brad Keselowski thankfully gets out of that. Eric Jones also gets out of his 20 machine as they are racing here in the closing laps of stage number one. So it looks like stage one will finish under the yellow flag as we have our third caution of the day here at the Brickyard. And guys, this is another big game changer. That's two cars that had the possibility of the chance to win this race. Go ahead, Donald. That's the first and second place finishers from last year's Brickyard 400. And they are gone now, so that's that's a huge impact here. And Jeff Hammond, that those cars got used up as they just got side by side. Yeah, it looked like the 20 car was going underneath the number two car, Brad Keselowski. We just watched it here on the replay, and he got loose a little bit like what we saw in yesterday's Xfinity race, and the rest of it pretty much history. But for, fortunately for the two car, when he did hit the tire barrier, the car did not roll over, and it did its job. Well, and and thank goodness, thank God that that attenuator tire barrier was exactly Exactly where it was at because Keselowski was going to hit that at exactly the wrong angle there. Once again, we watched the, the replay of Eric Jones getting loose underneath Brad Keselowski. Uh, he crawled out of his car under his own power, and thank goodness for that, but a really, really dangerous-looking incident. Very easy to see why Nick Yeoman thought that car might have flipped because the way it just literally nosed into that tire barrier and buried itself here. That accident looked a lot like the one yesterday that we saw late in the Xfinity race two cars going into that second turn at full throttle and there's just not enough room neither one of them could break and Brad Keselowski and of course the, that Jones boy Eric Jones out of it here in a huge crash coming off turn two here today that has brought out the yellow we'll take a quick time out and come back to the brickyard we're at our stage one break here after the uh, big collision between Eric Jones and Brad Keselowski. They're going to have to repair the tire barrier, the attenuator over there at the turn two area. This may be a lengthy caution, so we're at the end of stage one. Share a Coke is back for the fall football season. We all know what comes with being a fan, the ups and downs and everything in between, whether you've just won a big game and want to celebrate with fellow fans or you want to share a Coke with your best friend whose team just lost against their arch rival. Coke Cola has something for you. And of course, we are here today for the 26th annual Big Machine Vodka 400 at the Brickyard, presented by Florida Georgia Line, who tore the house down here last night with a massive crowd. We're always thrilled to have the president and CEO of Big Machine drop in with us, Scott Borchetta. Scott, uh, from every account I heard last night was a monstrous success for you guys. Yeah, we looks like we did 25,000 plus people at here at IMS and Florida Georgia Line, Nelly, Dan and Shade, Peyton Smith. We just had a fantastic crowd, perfect night, and uh, everything that we had envisioned the last couple of years of putting on a, a real festival here at IMS, mission accomplished. And obviously, this has been a good marriage between Big Machine and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway by the fact that you're back again this year. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can keep me away from this place, honestly. <laughs> I love being here. I love the racing. And uh, working with President Doug Bowles on all these initiatives, you know, we were really able to get out in front of everything we could do for the fans this year, not only for the race, but for the festival, announcing Florida Georgia Line. And they will be back when we move to uh, the July 4th weekend next year. So, you know, we, we've got a lot of big plans already in store for next year. 
Well, that's fantastic because it, it just creates a more festive atmosphere here for you guys. And I'm glad that you're up here. We gave you bonus time last year because it rained for two straight days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Hammond went down and said, hey, let those boys wreck so we have a few more minutes to talk to poor Shadow. So we, get, we got a little bit of a, a window here. But, you know, I, I see that everybody's got a little bit of big machine vodka that you could sip here on the break. So we're, we're good. We do. That's <laughs> I'm news, waiting. I'm news waiting. To the, uh, news to the anchor over here. <laughs> this oh, is going to get really good then this yeah. afternoon, isn't it? It's yeah. time to loosen up, boys. <laughs> time to loosen right. up a little bit here. That's right. You know, real quick, uh, you know, we were talking whenever I saw you the other day. i got to bring this up, but we've, we've got an event that I think you and I are going to be at here in just a few weeks. Uh, over in Tennessee at the uh, Walter Brothers Charity Championship. Uh, you, you're going to be uh, over there, and you're going to be bringing uh, one of your superstars. Yeah, it's always fun to partner with DW and Michael, and we're bringing Cheryl Crow to the program this year, and, you know, it, it's such a, a great program. You know, we, we do the dogs for the military, and, you know, we go and help a lot of people in need, and that's one of the great things about NASCAR and racing. You know, we, we always – are very aware of how blessed we are, and we're always focused on giving back. Scott, by the way, anytime you want to bring Cheryl Crow with you when you come up to the booth, okay, two I'll, I'll make up. noted. Okay, <laughs> hey yeah. girls, you got that? Okay, yeah. noted. That All right. the, from by, by the way, years. by the way, Scott, talking about Cheryl Crow for just a minute, she was on television this past week. She did the uh, NBC on the Plaza event over there and put on a whale of a show. I mean, she is still a really exciting entertainer. Yeah, you know, Cheryl has her brand new album out this week on, on Big Machine Records and uh, she was on TV again this morning. The album has jumped way up the charts again and uh, it's an incredible record. She says this is going to be her last full length album and all of her friends are on the record. She's got Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones, Eric Clapton, uh, Stevie Nicks, Marin Morris, Chris Stapleton, you know, everybody showed up and it's a fantastic record. So if you're a Cheryl Crow fan, get out there and check out her new album called Threads. I mean, the thing awesome. is, the thing is, she doesn't need any help, but she's bringing some other superstars in there with it. So it just makes it 10 times better than what it would normally be. So uh, I'm excited about that. I can't wait to get copy. All right, Scott, always a pleasure to have you come by here. And thanks for everything you do for NASCAR and, and the Inter Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Always great to see you. Well, thanks for all the support and uh, pick up some big machine vodka. All right. By the way, I, I will publicly endorse it. It is excellent. All right, that's our president and CEO of Big Machine, Scott Perchetta. We pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Radio Network.